Okay, we're back in Dark Souls 3, and we are back in Firelink Shrine with a lot of souls. It's because I straight up just like went through the area and I didn't really spend shit anywhere else. The question is, what should we go for? Uh, definitely not luck. I think I'm just gonna keep, you know, this is gonna be basic as fuck, but... Gotta go for the OG stats, the most useful ones too. Alright, there's one more thing we need to do before like really moving on. Sometimes I have to check. We need to go back to... Oh, it's all the way at the start, isn't it? To the Dancer of the Boreal Valley bonfire. Because there's of course the side area that I didn't really go to. I think in this episode we're gonna start off with that. This is also gonna be a lengthier one. I mean, technically we are not... That far off from terminating this game. I don't know why I said it like that. Thought of the Terminator for some reason. Man, that's a franchise that's been fucked to the ground, isn't it? Like, seriously, 1 and 2 is where it should have ended. I mean, 3 was decent, except that, you know, it doesn't really make sense, the story. But then afterwards, what was the next one? I think Salvation. Salvation was terrible, and then they had Genesis, which was even shittier. Yeah, this side, I don't know why I forgot this side area. I normally come here <clears throat> fairly early. But, I don't know, I just skipped out on it. Holy shit, <laughs> yeah. Which probably means that the boy is a little bit overpowered for... The enemies of this place. You know what? Fuck your shield. I still cannot get that right for some reason. Yeah, that is dealing a lot of damage. Let me tell you that. This is not gonna be a lengthy area. Even though, what's his name? Osiris is... I'd say a fairly tough boss. Yeah, consumed King's Garden. I, oh yeah, there's a flash shard. That's actually kinda useful. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Proud of you and appreciate you for that. And of course, this area is filled with Titanite chunks, which is good in case <clears throat> I do decide to upgrade another weapon. This is stupid. Why am I fighting this thing? I'm trying to two hand. Holy shit. I hate these enemies. So goddamn loud. Just shut the fuck up. Keep it down. I'm trying to play the game here. I think there is some stuff here. Except for the fact that the swamp is not rendered properly, or it wasn't there. Oh yeah, this is motherfucking toxic. Oh, it's just a claw. Shadow set and black fireball. I don't know why I thought this was a undead bone shard. Probably confusing it with something. What a bitch. Do you see? That was a weird ass knockdown animation. Don't know what happened there, but hey. Same end result, right? I kind of don't want to fight this thing. These enemies are so weird. Like, the problem is... It's really difficult to tell what's going on... When you fight them. But yeah, I mean, I mean I'm definitely OP for this place. Too OP, in fact. Nerf... whatever your name is. Roshi. Oh yeah, I went with the... I thought of Nier Automata. Automata. For some reason. <clears throat> that armor, now that I've noticed that, it's gonna bug me forever. That it just kind of turns your head into this black blob and there's like no features. It's not even like the visor inside is dark or something. Oh well. That's a detail that no one gives a shit about. 
And I don't give a shit either, I'm just pointing it out. Oh, hello. Oh, yeah, they get them buffs, don't they? Not for long, they don't. Cool, got the shortcut. Of course, there is no bonfire in this place. Except for the consumed king itself. I think I'm still gonna go and rest. Keep jumping by accident. Yeah. I don't know. This boss is mixed. Sometimes I have an incredibly easy time with him. Get him on first or second try. And sometimes he's just an absolute pain in the ass and I find him really difficult to kill. Hopefully we're gonna have the former situation. That charge attack is really the problem that he does. It's like so unpredictable. You don't know what the hell it's gonna do half the time. I think this is the taking the half floor, which for some reason made me take damage. This is the easiest way to get to him. Dragon scale ring. This is the um, the waifu ring. Like protects against backstabs, right? Except it doesn't give you a waifu in this one. Oh! Oh, well that's wonderful. That's a familiar situation. If you play Dark Souls 2. Alright, boss. Let's see what you got. I do like this boss, though. They went like super edgelord with him. If you see like the cut content. He was actually supposed to hold the baby and like crush it during the fight. But they cut it because it's like a little, again, a little too edgelord. Weirdly, he looks like he's really low textured, but that's just kind of the effect they're going for. We're gonna fuck this boss up. Hopefully. Hopefully he's weak to frost. We're going to find out in just a second. Uh-oh. Oh. I was worried. Sometimes, you know. What is he doing? Oh, he's doing that again? Did I get bot stomped? No, he doesn't have a... Oh yeah, he's pissed. Better get out. Shit is like, oh, crazy. Yeah, but as you can see, like, we OP. Even that, that's the charge, like, I can like one shot you. Oh, that was the charge. Can you like critical him? Yes, you can. Oh shit. Fuck you, Osiris. Get phased into the ground. Or clipped into the ground, not phased, because phased implies, you know, I guess done on purpose. Wow, that was hella easy. I guess having a plus five big fuck you stick uh, really helps out. Cool. Now we can go to Arch Dragon Peak and also to the Dark Firelink area, which I guess we can do. 
Why not? I didn't think I was going to clear this place in 10 minutes. <clears throat> but hey. Oh, these are... These things are weird. Because they're dead, but... They like spew blood if you hit them. Ouch. Not much is going to stand in our way. I do like this bait and switch they pull with this. But I mean, you can kind of tell that this is a breakable wall, right? Like you can kind of tell. I mean, I, I figured it, I promise, first time around I did not look up a, a walkthrough that this was a thing. Untended graves. Nice. So before we go on, of course we got to do the level up. I mean, again, like, you don't even have to come here, but if nothing else for the levels, it's pretty good. And Udex Gondir, I don't find him that difficult. Honestly. So I think what we're gonna do is get a... One point of vitality. We're gonna pump up vitality a bit more. So hopefully we'll be able to wear non-bootleg-looking armor. All right, cleared out. Is there anything that you can sell? The Morn stuff. Uh, uh, exile armor makes you look fat. Not fat, thick. To be more precise. Should we wear a crown? Fuck it. Is that Dark Souls 2 cosplay? Badass. We are the Lord of Hollows after all, so when you think about it, it's only appropriate, right? What is his part now? I think you can send him now to Irithyll, right? I think the requirement is to clear out the area, right? If not, who cares, honestly. What you got, girl? Still nothing useful. Damn. Alright. See, I got a crown now. Yeah. <clears throat> Alright, let me just check if I don't have two of these. No, I would have been, I would have been salty if I had two already. Alright, let's go to the untended graves. So probably how I'm going to do this in terms of progression from the next episode, from this episode onwards, is we'll go do this area... I'm gonna finish up Lothric. Maybe I'll go to Arch Dragon Peak. The only problem is I am not a massive fan of that area. So maybe we'll do it, maybe not. If not, we'll finish Lothric and finish the game and then head into DLC territory. Which is where the challenge is gonna be. Alright, shut the fuck up. Making way too much noise. Gotta keep the decibel levels down. Tell you what. Is this not an ambush? Kinda is. Eat shit, dogs. Now I got hyper armor, so, you know, got less to worry about. Hyper armor is pretty doink in this game. Oh, hello. Last thing I wanted is two of you assholes. Oh, actually. Yeah, I still kind of don't want two of these assholes. 
Grave Warden, damn. I didn't even know they have a set that you can pick up. Oh, hello, this is an ambush. Nice, Sue. Just for the hell of it, let's see if I have any alternative healing items. I don't, aside from humanities, which I'd like to not waste. This Grave Warden robe. I legit did not know that they dropped this. Yeah, it looks shitty. No matter, no matter. Kind of everything looking good. Maybe this is some top tier fashion for some people. But if it is, then you're an idiot. I'm only kidding, of course. Oh yeah. I was like, am I online? For a second I doubted myself. You're gonna get owned. Yeah. Sorry, lady. That was a wash. Absolute wash. Not a double perfect, but... Almost. Oh yeah, they do the bait and switch here, don't they? Oh, hello. That was a sick dodge. Too good at this game, I'm too good. <clears throat> I say as I get shot in the face by it crossbow although as I've kind of been discovering this weapon is insanely good like, people told me it was good but I was like yeah yeah sure must be like a basic ass run in the mill strength weapon who's here oh yeah the swordsman sword master that dude don't trust him First of all, he's naked, almost, and you know, if you're brave enough to be naked around a deadly sharp katana, swing it around as well, you gotta be pretty crazy, you know, don't wanna accidentally sli slice up the chorizo, where are all these people coming from? All right, somehow I recovered all my Estes. Probably from Crystal Dot or whatever. All right, bitch. We're gonna get fucked up. Do you see that sick dodge? Holy shit. This boy is going down quick. He's got that crazy wushu. I love his moveset. Hit him, hit him. What the hell? I don't know what type of hit that was, but it dealt like almost 700 damage. <clears throat> Man, shit been dying pretty quickly. I feel like this streak is gonna continue until I get to the goddamn DLCs and then it's gonna... Nothing is gonna take damage. Alright, that was Udex Gondir. I don't know, but even still, without being probably massively overpowered, if not massively, kinda overpowered, I still never found this boss to be particularly difficult. I don't know. But you know, you just find different people find different things hard. Even in this game. For example, I personally think that the Abyss Watchers uh, alone are, are hella difficult. I know some people say that's an early boss and they're bitches and, you know, it's not even difficult to kill them, but I don't know, I find them difficult. Strength weapons are good in this game, let me tell you. The thing is, I used kind of a strength weapon, a strength weapon, on my first playthrough. The only problem was 
that I feel like I didn't commit. I used the fire sword from Pontiff Sullivan. I'm the Lord of Hollows, I can go wherever I want. She got that Artorias gear. She got that Artorias gear. That's pretty good. We'll buy these two things. Because I've used the Artorias gear before. I still kind of want the armor. Nah, nah, we're gonna resist. I feel like this is actually a pretty cool set that I've got going on. So, you know, wouldn't want to disturb the peace. She's selling that legendary Fortnite skin, you know. Got two blueberries. There's something else here. One more thing. But aside from that, nothing much. It's a lower vise. Pretty cool area. I was almost guaranteed. Or I mean, I was almost certain there was something there. But there ain't. Feel like I'm missing something. Probably nothing too important. I mean, if it was, I'd remember where the hell it is. But we did get the coiled sword, which is very convenient. <clears throat> Just teleport back. And getting back here isn't exactly difficult. So if I did miss something, it's going to be okay. I think I'll survive. Man, this has been an action-packed episode, to say the least. Uh, I don't know. kind of want that endurance. Endurance is always good. Let's give it to her. And not like that. Are these, are these eyes? How gracious of the Ashen One. The very things we fire keepers have been missing. Cool. My thanks for the eyes thou hast given. But fire keepers are not meant to have eyes. It's all good, girl. You're talking to the Lord of Hollows. Is this what you have to do for the quest? The Lord of Hollows thingy? I feel like this is... You can still choose, right? Because it's only going to show like her summon sign. Yeah, and you can summon Yuri as well, I think. Well, if you want private affair, we can get a cabin. It's weird that this is like the only one bit of personality they give to her. And then nothing else. That's it. So it's kind of a shame. Alright, we going back to Lothric. How far did I get into the Grand Archives? I don't know. But we'll go on. Yeah, it's weird. I mean, like... It's almost like they thought of giving her some character arc and a personality and the last minute they were like, yeah, you know what guys, that is way too much work, let's just fucking give her three lines of dialogue. Because I mean, like Bloodborne, <clears throat> with the doll it made sense, you know, the Maria doll, you know, she's basically an anime pillow come to life, except, you know, she gives you levels. But this one... Oh wait, that's wrong. They could have done more, I feel like. 
whatever, no... No point in worrying about that. That crown looks sick. I like the crown of Volnir. I like the crowns in general. This is, you know, oh, god damn it. That was an idiot move. Let's not send that back. I think, I think we'll be okay. What up? Oh shit. He spewed me. It's on the floor as well, dude. Like, get a tissue or something. Uh, oh yeah. I mean, this is completely pointless, but... I think I'm leaving a crystal lizard behind. Think again. Oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, oh. Okay, we're in trouble. God damn it. I did not expect that. That was a bootleg ass move. I don't think I've ever been cursed in this. Well, there's a first for everything. Yeah, I don't think I've ever been cursed. Hmm. <clears throat> I've been cursed IRL, by the way. By a gypsy woman. After I did not give her... She wanted like... 300 foreigns. I was like... Nah, bitch. She cursed me. Didn't work though, because I'm still alive. That bitch must have used like some bootleg ass curse. And I'm not making this up, like it legit happened. Happened a while ago too, so, you know. Unless this is like some diabolical, like, long-term curse shit. It ain't... It ain't happening. What was that movie where that gypsy woman curses that chick? Dra drag me to hell, that's the one. And that was a... That, that was one of those movies where you can't tell if it's trying to be serious or funny. You know, because it had like horror, but... It was like so stupid that I couldn't tell. I don't know. Wouldn't hurt to pick these up. Okay, I thought this was the balcony where the three NPCs are. It's not, this just leads to the roof. This is some Assassin's Creed shit. I know there's an ambush, yep. That has scared me before. Caught, caught me off guard. This is a... What a bitch-ass enemy. I'm just like... I'm tearing through everything. Again, probably until I get to the DLC. It's gonna be like this. Afterwards... I predict a quick... Downward trend. Oh, hello. You could have teleported a, l a little bit farther from me. Would have made my life easier. Oh, 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 hello. Yeah, we're not going after it. I don't know if it can fly back. I don't think it can. <coughs> and we're just gonna leave it. Oh, hello. We missed both crystal lizards, right? The thing is, if I cared, I'd reset but I don't like if I want a secondary weapon I'm gonna go for a standard weapon anyways not like a titanite skill or titanite chunk weapon 
Because really, like, the old kind of trend of standard weapons being the best is still true in this game. I don't remember what's over here. But I know I usually pick this up and you have to fight like three of these things. Yep. Maybe only two. The camera ain't helping. Thank fuck healing is so fast. It's the wings. The wings make it di like really difficult to tell what the hell is going on. Alright, fuck you. That is down to one. Holy shit. I do apologize if this is making you sick. Or they're like zooming and shit by the camera. That was a waste. I better remember this correctly, and this better lead to something. Oh, it just leads to the other side, doesn't it? Oh no, this is the path. Like, I swear there is like some sort of side area. Maybe I'm like confusing something completely. Very possible. Oh yeah. I don't... No, 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 this is... I genuinely... I genuinely have no idea. Give me your candlestick. Alright, shortcut. Uh, yeah, we don't need to go that way, because that's where you're normally coming from. This is where the three NPCs are. Who can be kind of a pain in the ass, depending. One of them already tried to kill us. Now we're here for revenge, what up? Ready to get a taste of frostbite? Oh shit, that was a high IQ move. Looks like our sorcerer friend did not aggro- yes she did. That was a lot of damage. Thank fuck that is sh that is a shitty spell. Uh, she does have like crystal soul spear and all that. Oh yeah? You're dead. And they can heal as well. Ouch. That is so quick. I tried to be like really smart there and do a backstab as she was casting. <clears throat> Didn't work out. Didn't work out. But it's all good. Golden Wing Crest Shield. I think that's the lightning one. And only Kyria and Ubadachi. I feel like they're just coming up with crazier and crazier names for these katanas. I wonder what. Fucking Sekiro is gonna have in store. Aside from this being another shortcut. So we made we made good progress here, I feel like. Can't exactly say it's been an unproductive episode. However, the time has come to wrap it up. I plan on going for like 45 minutes plus. But this just works out so perfectly, and I've been tearing shit up, like, I was expecting there to be less progress, so, yeah, I think I'm gonna wrap it up here, thank you guys very much for watching, hope you enjoyed this episode of Dark Souls 3, and I'll see all of you next time. Goodbye.